Good morning, I'm Brooke Hates. The Oshkosh Police Department is investigating a death in the 700 block of West 3rd Avenue. A fire occurred in the storage units at that address around 9 o'clock last night, and a person was found dead inside one of those storage units. The police department is working to identify the person and the cause of the fire. An autopsy is set for this morning. Federal and state emergency crews are assessing southeast Wisconsin's shoreline after devastating storms last month caused millions of dollars in damage. Storms thrashed the shoreline, causing intense damage to the tune of roughly $30 million. A type of tsunami can happen in our Great Lakes and cause deadly waves. Scientists say they can develop after large storms. Experts say most people are caught off guard because the phenomenon happens long after a storm is gone. There is a new plan to honor Packers legend Bart Starr. A bill introduced in the state Senate would rename a bridge in his honor. The bridge on State Highway 29 over the Fox River would be the Bart Starr Memorial Bridge. Starr died in May. He was 85 years old. I'm meteorologist Michael Fish with a cooler day, though there's not going to be a lot of wind, so actually we'll feel all right this afternoon. Now, later tonight, notice more cloudiness to the south and east. Well, with those clouds into tomorrow morning, you might see a couple flurries out of those or even a little bit of light snow. All depends on the track of the system. Many models keep it south. There's one that still has just a little bit moving on through to the south and east. Otherwise, today, 25 degrees. Without much wind and some sunshine, it actually shouldn't feel that badly out after kind of a coolish start. That slight chance of light snow or a couple flurries, mainly to the south and east as we head through the overnight into tomorrow morning. That's not a guarantee. 32 degrees. Though we are watching this weekend, model after model continuing to paint parts of our area with some shoveling snow. That's going to be Sunday into Sunday evening. That should be out of here for the most part by Monday. Now, as we go through the next seven days, there's that Sunday and then going into next week. Still not that cold, though it does look like it could start to get more active around here. So we'll keep an eye on it for you. Now, you can check that radar anytime you want on our news app. It's free in your app store.